Thank you so much for watching The Real Source with me, Tafadzwa. Super Team 4 is finally here. It's a series I've been really anticipating with a lot of excitement since a few years back when I made a video about it. At the time, it was still in development as one of the products of the Story Lab, a talent and story development initiative run by Triggerfish Animation and supported by Disney. Though I myself was one of the unsuccessful applicants to that initiative, I was still very eager to follow the story of this lab because I wanted to enjoy the products that would come out of it and see the light of day because of the process. And of all the projects, I would say Super Team 4 was the one I was most excited about because of what I heard the creator Malenga Mulendema say about what inspired her. So growing up, I used to love to watch a lot of cartoons. So I'd never see myself represented in any way. So in Mama Kay's Super 4, I get to see myself on screen and I get to see my city or the context that I live in represented in a way only cartoons can. And this show also shows how Africans are resourceful or innovative. Now this mattered to me personally because I carry the proud title of Girl Dad. <laughs> and I'm always looking for healthy, positive sources of inspiration for my daughters. And after watching Super Team 4 with them for a couple of days now, I'm really glad to say that the show didn't disappoint. In fact, I wanted the girls to share their thoughts on the show, and this is what they had to say. What does it mean to you to see girl superheroes, especially from Africa, on screen in a series? It means quite a bit because also sometimes girls are, they just seem weak and this proves that women aren't also just there to cook and clean, they also protect. What do you like the most about Super Team 4? I like that they dance a lot and that they transform a lot. So Triggerfish, together with their creative partners in this journey, Cake in the UK and Superprod in France, have really created something special here. Just a fun, well-made story that celebrates its Africanness as much as it is intended to be enjoyed by a broad global audience. But you know how it is. It's just that much more special and that much more heartwarming when the style, the language and the feel are close to home. And this is a feeling that people from the big cities of the world like LA, New York, London and others have been used to for a long time. And now, thanks to Malenga, Lusaka gets its moment to shine too. Four unsuspecting schoolgirls think they are on their way to detention, but instead a fantastical adventure awaits them as they shed their school uniforms and transform into magnificent superheroes. Up against devious villains, the fierce foursome finds themselves at the center of an epic battle to save their beloved city, Lusaka. With luck and an unbreakable friendship, the girls balance superhero duties, doing chores and finishing their homework. Of all the things I enjoyed about Super Team 4, it's the sense of can-do that it communicates to young girls, especially in Africa. And for this to mean anything to you, try to think honestly about most of what you see on screen about Africa, especially as it relates to inspiring confidence in children about overcoming challenges and just being a winner in life. Shows like this are needed, and I hope in different genres and styles we'll see more of this kind of content. And I'm talking here specifically about animation. I know I talk a lot on this channel about content that promotes and celebrates Africa, but here I'm talking specifically about animation, which I heard somewhere described as the Trojan teddy bear because it can sneak into our hearts and appeal to us in a way that live action really can't. So while I celebrate this first animated original African series from Netflix, I really, really hope it won't be the last. Led by Mulendema, the creator, Super Team 4 boasts a very talented group of creatives from directors, animators to voice talent, not only from Zambia, but from South Africa, Zimbabwe, the UK, France, and beyond. And what we get is a product that is diverse, rich, fun, a little naughty, high energy, and we really loved every second of it. Ultimately, this is a show that has managed to hit just the right notes for me. Sentimental at a personal level, but also has been produced so well technically that it stands up to the light in that regard. 
Now I'm waiting, and I know my daughters are too, for the next season. But not just that, I'm excited to see many more African animated shows and movies on platforms like Netflix and others. If you've watched Super Team 4, please do share your thoughts on it in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this particular video, please do like it and subscribe to this channel where, as often as I can, I share my thoughts on content that has really made an impact on me. But from me here on The Real Source, this is Tafadzwa saying thank you so much for watching and do take care.